So we are back in the home, uh, working, working that layer back. We uh, have been cutting all this, all the roots out of here, getting this thing somewhat accessible. But uh, turning on for the first, and it looks like we've got so many of these. But it is, it looks like it's an Aqua Baker's, one of the smaller ones. So we're gonna stick in this layer and. Uh, See what else we can find. I do hear it raining, but it's not supposed to stay raining. So hopefully, uh, hopefully we don't get rained out. All right, stay tuned and uh, see what we get. I also found this slick amber, super clean though. Like a little pharmacy. And then there's this guy. Oh, it's a light bulb. No bean on the top. One new. All right, well, let's get into this one. night and um, so we had to leave early but I'm back out here bright and early this morning still sprinkling but uh, check that out my GoPro battery is dead I don't know why I charged all these batteries last night but nothing is seemed to be charged now so I'm um, using my cell phone for this audio is gonna suck and I'm sorry But I had to get you out for this one. So, let's see. Usually not a lot of, a lot of luck with something like this because everything's been broken. Let me clear this out with both hands and I will 
get you back before I pull it. All right, I'm bringing you back because I just saw this thing move a little. So it's loose. It does have the handle. Oh man, look at that. Look at that. Oh my God. Sick. It does look like it has a nice crack on it, but it does look like it has a, a maker's stamp there. There it is, guys. The, uh, this thing cleaned up awesome. Absolutely love this thing. Favorite find of probably the month. Got a OS stamp on the bottom. I uh, have not been able to source the information on the maker yet. So thinking this would have had a nice brown glaze on the top part of it. And it has uh, worn off, but what an amazing piece. All right, got a couple more presenting themselves. The crown top, slick as slick gets. All right, I felt another one in here. Here's that little uh, shoe polish or whatever it was. Glue, maybe. Love that bottle though. All ready to hold some treasures. Look at this thing. I thought it was a broken top. It is embossed all over the place. too muddy to uh, clean it up but I do see it looks like a monogram there it's got a, a, a slug on the back for a label that's cool this one I found too another just a little tiny corker another one of these without a lid horseshoe I think this is like probably the third or fourth horseshoe we found between yesterday and this morning. All right, I think we're back in it. I do see a lot of glass down here, so let's get in it and see. Definitely my favorite glass bottle of the day. This little um, 
It is synthetic porcelain. Chalk, actually. Is it? Don't actually know exactly what you did with it. It's for teeth restoration. But yeah, very cool little bottle. I put that little stopper in there. It's the only one I had that fit. Like it's got a 18, 1889 uh, patent on the bottom. Very cool. All right. So I started working on a different hole. Um, basically on the other side where we were working a couple times ago when we were here. Just pulled out that Baker's. This little amber. This one looks super cool. It looks like one of those uh, aqua blue bottles that we've been finding a million of. But this one is definitely uh, embossed. All right, and I got one down here, right there. What do we got? Nothing. Just a real pretty slick. Got some nice bubbles, super clean glass. All right. Well, in three minutes, I pulled out more than I have all day. So let's keep going here. And here's that little amber. Cool little bottle. I did actually find two of these. I've got to find another cork for this one, but these are good. I like to keep these stash uh, pieces of clay pipe and uh, little Victorian doll arms and legs inside those. Very cool. All right, guys, I got one in there. Full of... Oh yeah, we've got this one before. OAA Rulion, number one Kate's Ave, Brooklyn. It looks like a different size. Like we have a real small one and then a much bigger one. Well, if that's a medium, that would be cool. And there's that uh, OAA Rulion. Seen that one before. We dug this same bottle. A couple different sizes. All right. Got a bunch of them in the hole here. That's just a some sort of jar, jelly jar. Then. I think this one's a light bulb. And these other two. Click me. Nice clean slick though. Alright, we got one more. is in there it looks like one of those aqua bottles we found yesterday or last night hang on let me get it out all right well so i was pulling that one out and this one popped out above it still got a uh, soda bottle cap on it What's this? I didn't even see this. this. was in my rake pile. See? That's why you have to double rake. Oh yeah, it's a Wyeth. I found one of these in Aqua. Cool. There's this big bastard. Whoa. 
we don't have one of these. Aqua. That's cool. Nice. And here is that big aqua, uh, blue, whatever the heck it is. It's got a real crude top to it. Very narrow, whatever came in it was meant to come out very slow. Maybe vinegar or something, I don't know. But uh, yeah, we're gonna end this video on that one because uh, I dug so many bottles this day that there's just no way to cover them all in one video without it being 45 minutes long. So we're gonna end it here and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for coming along guys.